<laughs> it's so terrible. It's so terrible how, on some level, he's just so cool. It's an unspeakable danger posed to all my favorite characters, but Shigaraki is just built so well that I like lose myself in moments of almost admiration, if that makes sense. I feel like it's naturally hard to separate different emotions, but there's a part of great villains that's great. You know, there's part of them that's admirable and looking at his climb from societal reject and devastated orphan with nothing to being the biggest threat the world has ever encountered. Perhaps it's awe inspiring. We've been with him on the climb a few minutes earlier. I remember a time when they were when I thought they were keeping Shigaraki's actions PG so he could be redeemed, but that didn't happen. Shigaraki has crossed lines. He's way over a lot of lines. The only situation where that would be a bad thing. He's got literal tears in his eyes. There's so much going on so fast, and there's so many heroes to keep track of. But I feel like I have to appreciate every frame, because who knows when it'll be any hero's last episode. You state-sponsored pawns love to provoke us, but I won't let you get in Redestro's way! I don't think Redestro's <laughs> the, the thing anymore. You got the Cementos, come on. It's not this guy. She's still going. So you. Nice, he's made a, or a like giant club. Try. His teamwork. Even in this conflict, at this stage, we still have energy for puns. That guy's quirk is Gunhead! Where was he all this time? He needs to be on the front lines against Shigaraki. Toga insisted on fighting despite my objections. I've never seen her lose composure like this before. There's something really redeeming redeeming about that. I wasn't sure she, she cared, but she cl clearly does. It definitely adds a lot to her character. Some depth. You're gonna make me watch this again? It should be full of things I love. Nothing else. They're at such a disadvantage, too. They're trying to be heroic, do the hero thing of being non-lethal in their fighting. Until Makia gets here, I can Taking time to catch up on some social media. One for all. One for all. They have like a weird Voldemort Harry Potter connection. They have the same source, right? Encounter Part 2. They've always been parallel, but the link between the two of them just gets stronger and stronger as the series goes on. Especially now that Shigaraki directly has all for one's powers. Oh, Shigaraki! He made it out. The number one hero right after I wake up. That's a crazy way to take this. Like, right away. Yeah, exactly. Shigaraki said it. There's no escape! Can't let him take a single step forward. My dude's getting s scorched right now, but he has other powers besides disintegration. You haven't seen them yet. Oof. It's so crazy how easy it is. It's so crazy how easy it is for Shigaraki. He's just regenerating instantly. Well, there's one. There's one new new power. Maybe just lay off the direct strikes for a while. I'm fighting Shigaraki with a hospital stood. If there's anyone who can move without touching the ground, form a perimeter! That's genius. That's genius. And also so great for Endeavor to call for backup. Oh my god! This is such a genius way to take this. For four long months, you'll suffer indescribable pain. If you can endure it, the world will rest in the palm of your hand. Are you taking that bargain? I am, probably. Four months of pain? As I, feared, I had no idea it was going to be this cool. Where is one That's... Oh no. <laughs> Wait, what's a one for all? Endeavor, are you there? Whoops! <laughs> that was when things got real for Deku. That would... I don't even know how to explain it. I'm like vaguely aware of an idea that it would close a circle or something like that. A reuniting of the whole from which it all started. Ultimate power. There's a lot of ways that they could take it that are cool. But speaking of cool, as short as that fight scene was, I'm blown away by that. It's such a great touch having the number one endeavor go against Shigaraki and just get tossed aside like a sack of flaming garbage. Can you imagine being Deku and overhearing that and Shigaraki's coming for <laughs> one for all? And there's not a lot of safeguards anymore. I feel like it's gonna be some of the kids because this is just not working out. I mean, the heroes are getting their asses handed to them, which is also crazy in itself. Imagine this dream team losing, you know? So much went into this, so much buildup that this serves as a, a payoff for. Ever since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a hero. <laughs> How are you feeling, Deku? Search! The Quirk All for One stole from Ragdoll. It shows the location and weaknesses of someone you've seen. Oh, he could just. I forgot, he could just find them, like, what? easily. The Speaking of no safeguards. Right, these are the kids that'll keep their distance. Ah, there you are. There's nowhere he can run. 
I think class is canceled, just saying. Remember those security measures we built in school? I don't think they're gonna... <laughs> oh my god, this guy's Superman. <laughs> He's having a great time, look at him. Who can blame him? Warn him later. Warn him later. Yeah, get out. Get out. That was the most real sweat drop I've ever seen. The only thing they know right now is that he's after one for all. It's you can use that. Go on. It's a hero's job to protect the people. Look at Bakugo stepping up. Look at them united like this too. Hell yeah. All that pettiness. All those squabbles. I mean, nothing. Uh, nothing. I left something. I left something. <laughs> 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 what did you leave, Deku? He probably can't see me. Unless... No, he's got that quirk, man. He can see you. Thank God for spider whips. We need to learn, like, float ASAP, like yesterday. I'm the one Shigaraki's after. What are you talking about? Tell Endeavor, yeah. Tell one person. I'll crush the scumbag. <laughs> Such a Bakugo response. I'm the one you want. At least Bakugo has ranged attacks. My man Bakugo. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I think Shigaraki has an edge though because he can lure Deku to him pretty easily. He has super regeneration somehow. Nobody underestimate him. Solid advice, Endeavor. I have to catch up. I won't leave him on his own. Right, he said he's following. I feel like in this situation, you just have to pull every available resource and try to destroy Shigaraki as soon as you can, because he's just waking up too. Gotcha. It's your bro, he's backing you up. And he would never miss this. I am not doing it for you. Don't think you're the man. Nah, he's doing a little bit for him. I'm doing it a little bit for you. I love you. You're my bro. Will you join the League of Villains? Oh yeah, they have history. Right, right. Oh uh, man, I wish I I wish I could watch the series again up to this point, because there's so many little details. They go into everything. I forgot that Bakugo feels responsible for what happened to All Might. But also he loves Deku. It's my he loves him. Might. Loves him. Up his costume and retire. Right. This was a useful flashback. For me. I will defeat him, and I'll prove that I'm a hero. Just don't let your guard down or get in my way. Got it? I mean, I was gonna say he's a danger to himself right now, but I don't know. I feel like I know better than to count count Baku out at this point. Just have faith in these kids. Every time Deku improves, I have to grip my teeth and try to match him. But as he gets stronger, well, I can do the exact same thing. Baku goes sounding like a real Midoriya fan right now. I'll go higher than even you, chosen one. I won't lose to a damn nerd. <laughs> Still haven't dropped the nerd thing though. That's alright. We all know what it really means. Let's see. This should work. <gasps> He's just like still playing around with the settings. <laughs> and there goes their communication. Visual only now. It's just the three of them all alone. That's an Summer omen. Night That's an odd quirk. Death omen gives people a sense of dread. Printerino! After I heard one for all over the radio, I was afraid he would track you How down. How did you get there so fast? Are you two planning to fight him by yourselves? Nonsense. Shigaraki's decay destroys everything it touches. Everyone needs to know this. Everyone needs to know this immediately. Maybe Shigaraki played his hand too early. Come to think of it. Those of us left will handle him. <sighs> You have to set everything you have right now. No matter what it costs. Wait, what just happened? What just happened? He touched her. Did he purposely not disintegrate her? Or was there some reason he couldn't? Our number six hero. Your sacrifice saved me. And that might have been the key to everything. My life has one purpose. Oh, as I was waking up. Take you down. Oh my god. <gasps> Not let you lay a finger on my students. Hell yeah! Oh, that's why a razor head nullified him. Protect Aizawa. We must protect Aizawa. Kido, quirk, traject. He can change a moving object's path. Wow, that seems mildly useful. Thank you. Ah, uh, <laughs> quirk. I droplets. This is the end for you. It's not. Uh oh. I mean, there's still like Jigomantia and others. That hurt. 
I haven't released a racer yet. What? How did he Oh, it's just pure musculature. You're an atrocity. We need more. We need more bodies while I was here. That was a nice warm-up. That's what I'm saying. He's just like booting up at this point. You will be able to follow him. And now that our comms have gone down, if he chases you too far out, no one will be able to catch up. This is our only chance. I'll go back and keep your teacher on the move. Oh no, why is this so terrifying? I can't imagine a worse scenario than him stealing one for all. Who could defeat him then? Right now, he's just one person. I'm really, I don't know why am I so worried for Gran Torino right now? The way he's talking? The whole lab should have crumbled to dust in that decay wave. So how are there no more here? Is it me or are they gigantic? They look like titans. This is just wild. This whole thing is just wild. It's five seasons that have built up to this. So every moment, every character line has so much weight behind it. I mean, there's so much to talk about this episode. One of my favorite moments is simply just Aizawa saying that he won't let his students be harmed. It's so special because I've always loved Aizawa and I, I love him as a teacher. I love how much he clearly cares for them despite his sternness. Then add in the fact that he's been so reluctant to be a traditional hero. You know, he's kind of liked his relative solitude. Doesn't enjoy the spotlight, but man, is he there when you when you need him. And boy, do they need him. Gran Torino still being here at the age of 180. The, the team up of Deku and Bakugo, they didn't really do much except flee but man that was some bro fleeing right there <laughs> just that they had each other's backs thinking about all their history and what they've been through together thinking about the the movie where they fought side by side being here like this again where they have a secret that not many people know their alliance is going to be so critical i feel then having endeavor endeavor of all people you know the character that people used to despise being actually heroic and selfless yet getting kind of knocked around by a fledgling shigaraki it's just amazing and then the shot of deku realizing that shigaraki was after him and that there's nowhere to hide. And for me, the painful realization that there will probably be no school music festivals for a while evokes a pretty strong sense of dread, but also excitement because we know they're destined for each other. That's been clear from the beginning just because of their lineages, but now even more so, there seems to be, what would you even call it? A soul link between them because of their common origin and you know being two halves of the same power. It becomes about saving Deku at all costs, but of course it's gonna be about Deku stepping up and doing what he needs to do. The solution isn't gonna be for him to just evade. Shigaraki is something that he needs to face. And he's not equipped yet, so I wonder how it's going to work out where he can get what he needs to get or become what he needs to be and I'm sure learn some critical lessons along the way to have the spiritual underlying the, the power in order to defeat Shigaraki in a meaningful way. And it's not even just Shigaraki. Shigaraki's bad enough, but we haven't even seen Jigo Gigomantius show up. And there's also these new Nomu that came out of nowhere. So it's just one thing after another. It's, it's just really great.